At the back of our property, we've got an irrigation canal that supplies water to the rice fields around here. And it's up to us to keep it nice and clean and clear. Once a year or so, they send a backhoe down to clear out the silt and a lot of the weeds. But there's other stuff that needs taken care of. So today I'm going to clear a clump of bamboo. The people that own the field across from us and grow rice don't like it being in the shade. So they kind of hack the bamboo back as quickly and easily as possible. Once I've even seen the backhoe operator smashing it to pieces, another clump that's further up because they don't like it casting shadow on the rice, I think. So I'm going to go and cut the bamboo today and cut what's left of it anyway. I think there's only one or two pieces that are there. I had a go at it the other day and cleared some of it, but there's a whole clump of stems that have been cut already and are just sitting there. And there's also new culms growing already. I guess it's because it's close to the water. It has got a good uh, source of water. It'll just keep growing and growing. So I'm going to go and see if I can rescue some of those and plant them over here. But I aim to try and eradicate this clump just by cutting it back and then diligently as I see new pieces growing I will come and cut these pieces so they don't form culms and continue to grow and apparently it should be able to stop this bamboo clump growing it might take a while might take a couple of years but there should be a way of removing this clump without any chemical use and without an excess of effort You can see these old culms have been cut at some point in the past a few different times as new branches have come out seasonally and they've been cut back again and they just keep growing and growing. I'm cutting it back pretty close to the ground and I'll keep cutting it back every time I see new shoots appearing. It's just once a year or so, so for the next couple of years I'll keep an eye on it and eventually it should just stop growing. So now I've got some nice heavy pieces of bamboo that'll make wonderful biochar and then I'll also use the rest of it for biochar as well. It'll take a little bit of time for it to dry out and that's good because we've got a burning ban in place at this time of the year in the north of Thailand and so by the time the month is out it'll be nice and dry, the burning ban will be lifted and I'll be into making some biochar. In the meantime, have a look at this video that I've made on how I treat my bamboo to keep it from being eaten by the bugs once I have cut it. Those pieces that I'm not using for biochar, that is. Thanks for watching.